Real Business Owners. Welcome back to the Real Business Owners Podcast. You got myself, Trevor Cowley, and we've got, uh, what should I call you? Kelbert? Kelbert. <laughs> you <laughs> Some know, guys but, obviously like that one. Oh, yeah. Kilo you know. G. No, it's, it's too hard for me, I guess. Yeah, man. too hard to pick. Call huh? me Kelbert. Um, Kel, Kelbert, Kilo G. Um, call them whatever you want to call them, but just don't call them broke. Um, <laughs> so today's episode is going to be a good one, guys. Um, and, and per usual, it's brought to you by Easier Accounting. Guys, we're a nationwide accounting firm. We've been getting a lot of DMs in regards to entity formations, just questions in regards to that, you know, writing your kids off, uh, that video that we did, you know, mm-hmm. that we're currently promoting. Yeah. Um, guys, if you have questions, just make sure you, you slide into the DM, uh, ask the question. And if it's something that we can't answer, we'll get you in contact with one of our accountants who can answer the question or at least steer you in the right direction. You know, I... Uh, for the most part, we've we've done a great job of taking care of a hundred percent of people that have come through. At least, you know, guiding them through either a thought, a question, right. or flat out turning them into a client if it's a good fit, right? If they're if they're at that point in their business. But um, enough plugging. Easier accounting, guys. We want to give you value, and we believe today's episode will do just that. Um, what, what were we going to name this one? Pay to play. Pay to play. Yeah, man. I mean, I like, that I, I like title. what we talked about before we started the podcast. Yeah. I mean, the bottom line is, is uh, I mean, this is where everyone is so scared. They're mm-hmm. scared to put their, their money out there. But, you know, it's it, – it, I like what you said, dude. It's just reality. I yeah. mean, it's – almost every single thing that you want to succeed in is going to take some sort of investment. That's it. Monetary That's, investment. Yeah. And, 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 and in a lot of cases, it's – Time and money. Yeah. It's both. Yeah. So, and, and the reason why, guys, we're, we try to strategize about information that we could give you that we believe benefits you guys, mm-hmm. right? Um, and we do talk about a lot about mindset and reframing your thoughts, you know, and all this. And all of that stuff is 100% true because me and Kel are the same fucking dudes as we were three years ago. We're just... Our, our thought process is different. That's it, mm-hmm. right? We're not any taller. That's for damn sure. <laughs> you know, we're still five seven. Uh, so I wish. Yeah, you got me. Five by six an inch. and a half. Yeah. Huh? No. Uh, but anyways, again, we're this. We're, we're the same. You know, height and we're we're the same individual, same mind. Mm-hmm. We're just feeding it different information, new information. Yeah. We're open strengthening to strengthening the mind. Yes. You know, that's all true. Exercising the mind, right? Just like we do physically with the body, mm-hmm. right? There's there there's no difference there. Um, and so we love that stuff. That's all fine and dandy. And uh, you know, we want to continue to give you the 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 mindset stuff on how to rewire the mind or reframe your mind. But today we're just gonna be very just blunt with you. Mm-hmm. You guys aren't fucking investing into yourselves. You're not investing into your business, but yet you expect more out of yourself or your business or, you know, whether it's your marriage uh, and your relationship, but yet, you know, you complain about it, but you're not investing into it. Yeah. You know, go see a counselor that is a hundred bucks an hour or 200 bucks an hour, or whatever it is once every two weeks and, and invest into your relationship or go out to, you know, uh, a weekend little getaway together to where you could spend time. Again, all of these things cost time and money. Yeah. Right? And, you know, I, we could talk about any subject matter, right? Mm-hmm. Wherever you want growth, you should be investing time and money. Yeah. Well, and you said, too, um, you get a lot of people that DM about their ads. They just don't understand no. why they're not working. No. Well, there's no one looking at them. No, they're not <laughs> running them. Oh, yeah, they're not even running them. Why is my business slow? Yeah. You know, or, hey, it seems like things are slowed down. I said, well, you know, in one instance, it was a remodel company. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, well, how like how much money are you spending on marketing? Well, I'm not. And I'm like, okay, you might just be a seasonal business then. If, 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 if you're just going to rely on, you know, word of mouth. Maybe people want to do spring cleanup and make that adjustment to their home bathroom or remodel the kitchen you know, when they're in that, in that mode, right? Nobody really cares to do that shit in the thick of winter, right? right? Usually it's springtime or maybe in the fall or you know, summertime, people are busy taking vacations or whatever it is, spending time with their family and everybody's hunkering down for winter. So if you're just relying on people coming to you just because they heard about you yeah. or because you posted it on your personal Facebook page, that's not running ads mm-hmm. and you're really not investing into your business. So 
don't expect for your business to grow. Right. Like don't expect personal personal growth if you're not investing into you personally. Like we invest hundreds of thousands of dollars into personal growth. We invest hundreds of thousands of dollars in ads for our businesses. We invest money into our relationships, whether it is therapy, whether mm-hmm. it is taking taking them, you know, on a weekend getaway. You do a great job of sometimes going to Vegas with, with Kaylee. We and, have to, yeah. You know, we just to, to kind of t- get that one night together or whatever it is, mm-hmm. right? It's important, man. And so... But even, dude, honestly, um, we've built a lot of our businesses up to this point off of networking and yep. people don't realize that the money that goes into that, you know, it's like a, it's expensive. events and hopping on flights to go see people. Mm-hmm. And, you know, um, I, you know, I had a guy actually hit me up on my personal DM that found our real business owners page. And he started asking me some, some ways to get going that weren't going to cost a lot of money in ads. And I'm like typing some stuff up for him. And I'm like, dude, bottom line is, is everything's going to cost a little bit of money. Like I've built these companies off of networking, but I've spent money to rent cars and fly places and go shake hands and sponsor events. And, you know, hell, I even paid to speak the first several times that I spoke and still will. You know, uh, sometimes I'm starting to get asked, you know, that I don't come and speak without us having to pay, which is super cool. But it's it's taken money to get to that point. I was going to say you had to pay to play, though. Yeah. You, you know, you, you, you had to spend the money to get on stage to get the practice yeah. to ultimately, eventually not having to pay mm-hmm. to then what? Yeah. Eventually getting get paid. paid. Exactly. Right. And so, again, he's just investing into himself and into a craft that he wants to get better at. And even the relationships that we have that send us a boatload of clients, man, yeah. I invest into them, whether it's a gift whether it's um, to, to keep that that relationship awesome. Yeah. You know, they do an awesome job. We do an awesome job. I want to show my my gratitude. I buy them gifts. Yeah. You know, you know, I recently just bought a gift to keep yeah. one happy. Yeah. Um, but then there's also, you know, um, buying, a, a, dude, I've even, I'm not recommending this to anybody, but like people that have been longtime clients of ours yeah. that are referral sources, dude, we've given them loans. Like when they've hit hard times in their business and mm. it's like, and I wouldn't just do that with anybody, but it's like, we've helped have people out of a bad time, yeah. you know, and cause I've got a lot of belief in them. We have a lot of history there and that's turned into a huge amount of loyalty to where now they're going out and telling their competitors like, dude, you know, like you gotta be this working is, with this these guys. guy's the best. You yeah. want to work with him. He's dude, yeah. he's helped me out. He's done yeah. this and that. Their their company does a great job. And so literally it's turned into more business because I've been willing to pay out of pocket in networking. And like so people are trying to trying to pull business off of social media, right? Like that that's just the truth, right? Mm-hmm. You have a lot of people set up their business page on Facebook or mm-hmm. on Instagram or whatever. Yeah. And you know, it has 200 likes on their Facebook page or 500. And that's just all family and friends, which you could have just posted, you know, your company special on your personal page, because the only people that are following you are people who know you anyways, and are just trying to show support. That's the truth. Right. Okay. Um, It might not be easy to hear that. But you might as well not even have a business page if you're not investing into it. Yeah, I mean, that's great if you want a little bit of practice. But eventually, you got to get to a point where you're like, okay, man, uh, I really need to know if these ads work. Maybe you got one or two or three that you want to test. You're going to have to set a budget and run it. You know? And you're going to have to get uncomfortable. Yeah. Okay. The reality is, as I've said it before and I'll say it again, most of you guys are hiding behind the camera just showing your work. Mm-hmm. You're not showing who you are. We did that thing just this last, that Instagram story we did while we were in Dallas about this exact same issue. Yeah. Guys, people buy from people. People don't just buy just a, a, a product unless it's something that they've already thought of that they are dead set on. Right. And they're just going to go to Amazon and buy it anyways. They're probably not going to buy it from you. Right. Yeah. And so. Uh, and we get it. dude. Yeah, I mean, yeah. we get it. We started right there in that same exact space, yeah. man. Headspace where we're like, oh, you know, can like, I afford I'm to not do good this? on camera. You know, I'm not good on podcasts. Like, yeah. dude, it was mind blowing to me. Even some of the messages that we've read. I'm just like, dude, I can't believe people get this much value. I, just, I was so scared to even put myself out there yeah. thinking I'm going to sound like an idiot or yeah. videos where I feel like I'm going to look like an idiot. So yep. I get it. It's uncomfortable at first, you know, but. You just have to do it. <laughs> you, you have, have to, to. You have to be willing to suck at something yeah. in order to get good at it. You do. The first time you pick up a basketball and shoot it, it's probably not going in. Yeah. Or the second, or the third, whatever. Right. After enough reps, you'll get used to it and you'll get better at it. It's the same thing with social media. But 
what I can't stand to guys is I can't have you guys DM me saying, why is my business slow? But then I ask how much you're spending in marketing and it's zero. Mm-hmm. Like how, I, I don't even know how you're pulling money out of something that you're not investing into. Yeah. Right. And it's always, again, front loaded. Pay to find out if it sucks. Exactly. <laughs> and at least, you know, Yeah. but in most cases it will suck at first. And then you'll have to make tweak, 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 tweak mm-hmm. until you find out what does, does or doesn't work. Just yeah. so that you know, being completely transparent, I don't know if I said this on a on a previous podcast, that episode three that I did about you know Instagram and growing Instagram, yeah. but uh, we spent like thirty thirty five thousand dollars sucking at Instagram mm-hmm. to figure out how not to suck, mm-hmm. right? So you'll usually find out all the things that don't work first, yeah. Okay, prior to finding the things that do work, so. I would suggest to peel back a little bit. This is the exact advice that Gary Vee gave us at the event. Peel back some of your money that you're taking out of the company just a little bit and invest into social media or a videographer or whatever it is. Yeah, depending on what level you're at. Like, here's, yeah. let's be real. I mean, everybody's at different levels. If you're just starting out and you're trying to, you're an auto mechanic, you're trying to get your name out there. Maybe you're a mobile mechanic. Like, trust me, dude, people want that service, but you got to yeah. get in front of people. And so, um, if you're like I was and you're like, uh, but I just don't understand all the platform and how to even do the ads, we'll pay a little money and take a course. You know, spend five hours over the next month yeah. going through five hour long videos on how to boost an ad or how to, you know, pick your, your demographic. Like if you're an auto mechanic, which I know nothing about, yeah. you can go and target your area within a hundred miles. Cause maybe that's as far as you want to go. Yeah. You can actually pick, you know, men from 18 to you know, 45 years old or 75 years old, whatever your your customer base is, you can pick, you know, you can basically pick your ideal customer. Yeah, exactly. And then when you go and hit boost ad on Facebook or Instagram or whatever, I mean, you can literally send a $15 budget to run through the week and yeah. you'll find out real quick whether or not what the response is going to be. And, and you could do it one of two ways. You could do it for the purpose of getting more followers that you can then market to or you could do it just a regular ad saying, hey, come get your oil changed and we're running a special right now. Yeah. Or whatever it is. Again, that's the mechanic type scenario. Um, but I, what I think is happening is people aren't giving themselves enough credit. They don't believe that they can do it, but yet they've never tried. Yeah. They're, they're building it up in their mind that it's some big behemoth thing that they can't really do or accomplish because I am a mechanic. I don't know technology. Mm-hmm. And again, this goes back to selling yourself some excuse to let yourself off the hook of not doing something or following through with something. Yeah. And that's the problem is you guys aren't even attempting or even trying. They don't want to pay because they're like, I'm going to suck. Yeah. But exactly. you're never going to know what sucks and what you're good at until you actually pay and get the response. And so... Dude, that's what this whole podcast is about. It's is spending money on you, you know? your business, yeah. your, 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 just your life. Whatever you want to be better, spend money on it. Take take that $30 a week you spend on beer. Yeah. Well, maybe <laughs> not boost your the beer freaking money. Ad. Uh, get rid of the coffee. Keep Dude, the come beer. on. There's no, so I'm many stupid kidding. habits. Yeah, Starbucks, <laughs> uh, you know, whatever. Coffee shops, yeah. beer, uh, smoking, chewing, whatever yeah. your stupid habits are, man. Scale back on that. Create the 20, 30, 40, 50 bucks a week. And run something, you know, and just find and be willing to suck at it and then keep running it until you get it figured out. People want to know how to scale their business or get more marketing or get more leads coming in. I mean, that really is the big secret is pay. Well, think about it. If you run ads and they suck for three months, six months, but then you continue to tweak and you refine it. Yeah. Then you can scale your business as quickly or as slowly as you want to after that. Exactly. Based upon your ad spend. Yeah. The problem is, is people, again, are just making it up to be more difficult than it is so that they don't even attempt. Yeah. Right? Like, I, I literally Cal bought a course on how to run Facebook ads for 1500 bucks. Yeah. Right? And, and uh, you know, so I logged in and I was watching the videos and trying to figure it all out. You were supposed and, to do it together. I did, like, two of them with you. And then Shrev kept going because you know, I got pulled another stuff. Yeah. But, but uh, hell, at least one of us did it. Yeah. You know? I mean, so, so I kept watching until I got confused as shit. Yeah. And it started like, then you do this and then you do this. And I'm like, holy shit, this is way above my pay grade, like, or knowledge level. Like it was, it was, it was starting to get real confusing where you would have to have somebody sit down and kind of game it with you and teach you how to do it where, where I can ask questions and somebody's there to answer those questions. And 
really hold my hand. And so I took it all the way to that point and I kept watching the video over, seeing if I could understand it. I couldn't. Yeah. And so I said, fuck it. Let's just try it. Yeah. So I went to Facebook and started running ads, you know, yeah. and, and started trying to figure it out based upon what I had already known. And then I let the analytics tell me if it sucked or not. Exactly. You know what I mean? Because they'll show you the whole back end. And it's really not that difficult. So, guys, that's just in investing into the business side of things in order to try to grow your business. Yeah. You can't say that that won't work for your company because I guarantee there's somebody in every industry in the world that utilizes social media to their advantage. Yeah. Whether you're whether it is a real estate agent, whether it is a plumber, whether it is a, a barber or a hairstylist or, you know, whatever it is, it doesn't matter the industry. Somebody in your industry is winning in social media. Okay. So, and if they are, and they have a course, buy the fucking course. Yeah. You know, I listen, we have been tainted by like, um, well, shit, they just created a course because they want to make money. It's just going to be a waste of money. I'm not going to really, you know, we, 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 we've tainted our own minds to believe mm -hmm. that there probably won't be that much value to spend 1500 bucks on this course or two grand on the course when that wasn't the truth. We were just projecting our own bias on the situation. Mm -hmm. If you never bought that course for 1500 bucks on how to do the Facebook ads, and I never ran through that, then we might not be where we're at right now exactly. in terms of real business owners. That's the truth. Because then I would have built up this Facebook ads is this big behemoth thing that I could never figure out. You've got to be like graduate from Harvard or some shit to figure this stuff out or be a brain surgeon. I'm not that guy. Yeah. And again, continue to sell myself these excuses to make myself feel better or let myself off the hook for not even trying so that I can still feel good when I walk walk out of the door and go home that day. Yeah. You that's 100% of that's the problem, man, is people just keep buying that excuse over and over and over again, keep going nowhere. And dude, quit being a bitch. Like, just pull your money out mm. and invest into sucking a little bit, and it, mm. and, and you will find out. You know, invest and, into and do a it course for a while. or invest into yeah. just boosting it. Like, dude, it's there's so many things out there, man. Like, um, I don't even know if I should say this, but you can go buy phone sites. Yeah. For forty five bucks a month, yeah, and their support that. is so good. Yeah. If you have problems, they will. You can call them, and they will walk you through building your first funnel, and yeah. then they will show you how to boost it on Facebook. Yeah. I mean, it's really... Why, why would they do that? Because they want to continue to bill you the 50, 60, 70 bucks a month. Yeah, they want you whatever to Whatever it is. Yeah, they want you to generate leads. But people are so afraid right? to pull their money mm -hmm. out. Well, actually, I think they're more afraid to just put themselves out there, you know, so... Well, in some cases, they don't need to put themselves out there to even run ads, yeah. right? Now, if they want to build a social media following, then yes, you're going to have to put yourself out there. So first, you need to distinguish what you're trying to accomplish. Are you just trying to pull in more business mm -hmm. or do you want to ultimately be some sort of influencer with inside of your industry, right. right? Or the expert that people turn to within the industry. If that's what you're trying to do, then all you do is just run basic, simple ads to try to get them to follow you. And then at that point, you know, business Start will slowly value, trickle in right. or whatever after you give enough value. And then there's just flat out running an ad where you're not trying to get them to follow you. You're trying to click on that that redirects them to where you get their name, phone number, and email. Mm -hmm. And you get a lead that you could ultimately call and say, hey, I'm a plumber. You know, what What are your needs? Yeah. You know, your AC went out or whatever it is, right? Which is where you need to start. You know yeah. what I mean? You need to start by just, first of all, tap into your, your will, okay? Uh, be willing to invest a little bit of money into an ad, even though you feel like you know nothing and you suck and, you know, look at some of these courses, be willing to pull out, you know, your, your wallet and buy a course, go through it and, and yeah. just be tap into that will, that willpower of just actually doing it. Right. Yeah. Like just pay the money for the ad and just let, who cares if you get some haters, who cares if you get, you know, some people you are going to, yeah, I don't care how insecure you feel, yeah. like just do it anyway. So that's really what will is, man. Like we all get insecure feeling. We all have those weird little fears and doubts. It's like, the more strong-willed people are the ones that win because they're willing to just fail forward. They're willing to pay a little bit of money, get some hate, okay, scratch it, try again, over and over and over again until they figure it out. We're, we're just telling you to spend money. This That's what yeah. this podcast is about, yeah. spend money. You yeah. want money, spend it. Yeah, exactly. You want growth in what area of your life? Mm -hmm. Then find somebody who's great at it and, and have them mentor you. Have them coach you. That's what, you know, what, what, what's weird is when people are like, Oh, so you guys spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on mentoring on this group, you know, and, and we are a part of, you know, the Apex group. We're a part of the, the Arate group. And, you know, by the time we book hotels and, you know, flights and, 
you know, the, the monthly investment that we invest into these groups, people are like, well, is it worth it? And they're trying, yeah. and, 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 and they're, and what they mean by that is, are you getting more money out than you're putting in? And immediately the answer is no, like yeah. on an immediate basis the, it nothing pays immediate. Yeah. Right. So, you know, on the page, we talk about giving things time to show its true worth and, and show its value. You know, month one of coaching or mentoring, is it going to just pay for itself or month two or month? Probably not. Yeah. It takes time to change as a human being. So it takes time for those teachings to absorb. And once those teachings have absorbed and you'll, you know, you'll, you'll start turning a corner in three months, four months, five months, six months. And you'll see a lot of personal growth out of coaching or mentoring. Mm-hmm. And again, that's if you're investing into the personal coaching side of things. Well, let's or, be real, dude. Like after, like we're we're there for because yeah, we wanted to level up. We wanted to be in rooms with yeah. higher successful people. Yeah. Um, and we are pulling business out of that group. Yeah. So not only have we paid the money to be a part of the groups, but then if you're smart, okay, you're gonna find out where can I give value to this group. Where can I give value to these people? Mm-hmm. You know, so yeah, you're investing to be there and all that, but then that's where you do start pulling business back out of the group. I mean, we have several guys within all these groups that we're now doing business deals yeah. with, and so it is starting to pay dividends. Yeah, and so, it's been like how many months has it been? It's been um, like eight months, seven eight months, months, or something, something like that. Yeah. And we're we're starting to see the snowball effect of of things starting to really show value yeah. now. Right with some of the relationships, you, you, dude. You can't cultivate a relationship in the first time you meet somebody. Right. You know, sometimes you have to sit with them two or three or four different times before you really start opening up, telling them about your business and yeah. what's going on, and then they tell you about their business and what's going on. And it's funny in some cases there's synergy between your the, each other's business or whatever issue that you're facing. Maybe they've already faced it, and they're like, "Hey, you should try this or you should do that." And this is the fast track to success. Is paying to play. Yeah. And so, and again, I know it's, it might sound dumb to some of you guys because you haven't done it yet, but who are some of the people that you want to surround yourself with? Who are some of the people that you guys admire? Okay. We, we admire, we admired Ed and Andy, Ed Milet and Andy Frisella. So what did we do? We applied to be with inside of their group. What are we doing now? We're paying, paying <laughs> large amounts of money yeah. and v- like very probably more so than what some people make uh, on a monthly basis. What is what we pay per month? Mm-hmm. Actually, no, for a fact, it's far more than what a lot of people make um, on a monthly basis. Is what we pay to be a part of that group? Why? Yeah. Well, because why? they because they've earned it. Yeah. That their time is that valuable because of their net worth mm-hmm. and their the, the the stuff that they've been through to get that information that they're relaying to us is worth it because that took them 20 years to get where they're at now yeah. or whatever it is and they're giving that information to us uh in in a time frame of the 12 months that we'll be with inside of right. the group or whether we continue to 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 pay and continue to be in that group that's obviously yeah. something that you know, we've talked about and something that we'll continue to talk but about. The people that go through that application process, they're at the same place that we're at in business. Um, you know, those are the people we want to surround ourselves with. And because they're highly selective of that, it was worth the money, it was worth the investment for sure. Yeah. But dude, now all of a sudden we're doing all these business deals within the group yeah. when that wasn't even really the fully the intention to begin with. But we were like, dude, let's play to pay. We know something good will come of it. Mm-hmm. But even if you're not at that level, dude, if you're not at like where you want to go join a six figure group, Dude, you can start at the local BNIs or the corporate alliances. And if you're smart, you'll get in there and you'll figure out where you can give value and pay to be a part of those programs. And, and it's like a stepping stone, right? You, we did it. Yeah, we did it. We did it. We've been in networking groups. We've ran ads. We've ran ads that didn't bring one single lead. Mm-mm. But it doesn't mean it was a lost investment because it helped us figure out what was going to make the next ad better. Mm. And then the third ad and then mm. the fifth ad. Mm. And then, you know, here Bella. we are. Here yeah. we are. We got l- more leads than really we can handle right now. Yep. And now we have new business projects that we're taking on because yep. we're like, dude, we can't pass up these opportunities, right? And so um, it, it just brings a, a lot of value back to you guys yep. if you're willing to tap into your wallet and put yourself out there and just just pay to play. Dude, but how crazy would it be if somebody's like, man, I, I haven't invested in anything, but there's no money coming to my mailbox, like, 
well, okay, well, you haven't invested in anything, so there should be no mailbox money. Yeah. Or, you know, like even, it, it, dude, whether it's stocks, whether it's mentoring, whether it's relationships, whether it's, you know, networking, whether it doesn't, dude, you have to invest to get a return. Yeah. And you Period. can do it at any level, man. You like, really can. I, I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of the, like the small local group things, but some people do. But we did do, it. Yeah, we yeah. did it. We tried it. You know, we didn't... Re- the problem was is everybody's again trying to wear the suits and do this and play the dress up game like everybody's trying to be something they're not because they believe that uh, you have to look a certain way to be an entrepreneur or a business owner some people are still stuck in that mindset and that mind frame and so they're just trying to play the part and right so everybody's sitting in this room trying to play a part but they're it's because they're at such a beginning stage level Right. I mean, how many people in some of the rooms that w- that that we go to that dress down just like us and wear hoodies yeah. and hats, but they're worth lots of money? Exactly. You yeah, know, that's just how the world works nowadays. So, I mean, that money you spent on that suit, you could have spent on a freaking ad, ad. finding out if it works or not. You know. Yeah. Um, but I mean, you, you, that's what you need to really do. You need to kind of analyze where am I spending my money. You know, and where where could I apply it? Like if you are buying, you know, nice watches and suits and you know shoes and all this shit, but you know, like cut some of that out and put in your ass. But if you're just starting out and you're yeah. like, man, I don't know where I could. I don't own suits. I don't own, you know, all this fancy shit to look like a business guy. Well, you're probably eating out, spending money at the gas station, getting your sodas or your drinks all day. You're probably taking the wife and kids out to dinner two, three, four, five times a week. Cut half of that out and you've found some money to start investing into it, it, what you need to be investing it, into. If, if the government said all of a sudden there was another $250 a month tax, you might bitch about it, but you'd pay it. Yeah. So even if you spend two hundred fifty dollars a month to kind of figure it out for the next six months, and like Kel said, you might measure a dollar going out. Well, two dollars didn't come back. Now that's not worth it. Again, you you should be be willing to lose at first, yeah. right? And so go into it not measuring it immediately. Mm-hmm. Do not measure it immediately. Go into it thinking long term. Same thing exactly. that we did with a videographer, right? Like the podcast, the podcast, the, Instagram, the, the Instagrams, the, it, the, the, the businesses that mm-hmm. we grow, you know, like we don't go into a business and then in six months be like, dude, we're not making hundreds of thousands of dollars off the business. This thing's a waste. And everything, That's not everything how that we've it. done has felt like a sacrifice too. It's like, we don't just have a shit ton of money when we, we started, like when we went to the Gary Vee event a couple years ago, it was like, Dude, we spent a lot of money on flights and hotels and to, to be a part there. of that event to be there. And it was yeah. like, I mean, all together, it was like eight grand. Mm-hmm. And it's like, you know, like we had to have a talk. Like, hey, do you think this would be worth it? Yeah. You know, like, yeah, I have a feeling we probably get some value out of this. Let's try it. You know, like, uh, but even when we very first started, the ads that we ran, we just spending 500 bucks a month was a lot of money. Yeah. You know, so my, my suggestion would be like, dude, grab, if you're just starting out, maybe you're still working a job, have a side hustle, like, Grab the wife, sit down, have a conversation like, babe, let's not spend money on Amazon. Let's cancel the Netflix for a few months. Let's get the dish direct bill knocked down. Let's get rid of the premium channels. Like there's something, there's somewhere, you know, that you and your wife can sit down and what can we cut out so we can run a couple few hundred bucks a month to change our lives? That's, that's the point of, of this entire podcast. Mm-hmm. Some people are going to say, I can't afford to do it when you should reframe your mind and say, let's find a way. I can't afford not to do it. Exactly. If I really have goals that I'm trying to get to that are that are much bigger than my current situation. How can you have large and extreme goals but yet not invest into yeah. them? So look at it as that. You're just investing into exactly. your goals, right? Don't measure immediately. Go into it long term. This is what we've done with everything. Mm-hmm. We've we've had businesses that don't make money for 4 years because we're thinking long term, mm-hmm. long term, long term, long term. Exactly. Okay. So Constantly reinvest back into it when we could take money. Yeah. You know, so. So the reality is, is we, we, we do a, several things, guys. And I think we do this very, very well is we analyze the people that we want to be like and we copy exactly what they do. Mm-hmm. Right. It's not that difficult. If the person that you want to be like that is super successful, uh, spends money on social media or has a following. Well, okay, let's try that. So we did. Yeah. You know, the people that we want to be like, they have top rated podcasts. Well, let's try that. Mm-hmm. And here we are. We're very close to breaking the top 5% of, 
of podcasts in the world in terms of I think like I said yesterday on the on the story you mm-hmm. have to have 3500 downloads within the first month of uh, dropping a podcast in order to be top 5% and we get about 3000 downloads within the first so we're 500 downloads away from being in the top 5% right right and we'll so get there. we'll get there yeah. and that's fine and again I'm not measuring the podcast right now whether it's a success or failure because we haven't had enough time doing it yeah. do we continue to invest our time and money into creating a podcast Absolutely. Is it sitting here paying for itself? I don't know. Um, I can't say yes. I can't say no because we're not measuring it in, on a short scale. Yeah. You know, we we went into something saying we are committed to this thing for three to five years to see what it can really do for us and our business. And without it even being a full year of real business owners, I can already tell you that in two years or three years, it's going to be incredible what it'll do for yeah. our company. I mean, it's already exceeding our expectations and we're yeah. not any better or different than anybody else listening, man. You guys have businesses you want to grow. You just need to be willing to put yourself out there. And at the end of the day, this whole episode was to help you guys understand that everything is pay to play. Everything. everything is going to take some money, you know? So we just want you to wrap your minds around that, you know? Just we wanted so so we wanted to be around. Uh, let's use this as an example. You talked about the Gary V event that we flew out, Agent Twenty Twenty One, two years ago. Yeah. Um, you know, we spent like eight grand or whatever. We also spent you know twenty thousand um, dollars on a athlete to talk about easier accounting. Mm-hmm. He played for the Tennessee Titans. It was uh, he's retired now. Is Derek Morgan? But we paid Vayner Sports, you know, this money to basically get inside of their ecosystem. Mm -hmm. Like we kind of knew that we weren't going to make that 20 grand back immediately, but we knew that it would create a connection. Not one of those videos. I don't think even created a lead, dude. Not even none, but it created so many more opportunities. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So invest into the people that you want to surround yourself with. Look, we we love Ed, we love Andy. You know, uh, Ryan Stuman's one of our one of our coaches and mentors as well. We invest money to be around those people because, unfortunately, that's because just you have to pay to play. Your like, network is your net worth, and it takes money to build it. I can call AJ Vaynerchuk up right now if he signs yep. some athlete that I really wanted to run an ad for us, and I guarantee you we could get he, that guy. He, he already said he'd be on our podcast when I sent him a happy birthday email yeah. two weeks ago. And dude, he's—I mean—they're signing some big names coming out of college. Yep. They're they're. Their firm is growing. Yep. Um, what do they call it? Sport. Uh, Vayner Sports. Yeah, no, but the what's the their title is uh, agent, right? They're, oh, they're, they're agent. They're, yeah, they're, they're sports the agent. agency. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, dude, I mean, if they sign someone that's like pretty big that might align with our marketing and our message and and everything, and I I want that person to run some ads for us, like I. It's one phone call away because of what we because were willing of, to do. Because we got into the ecosystem. We spent twenty grand initially with mm-hmm. them years ago. Yeah. Then we went to the Gary V Agent Twenty Twenty uh uh twenty twenty one, something like that. Yeah, Agent Twenty Twenty One. Uh, spent another eight grand for that. Then we flew to New York to oh, go yeah. to their office yeah, uh, mm-hmm. because of another event we were a part of. Yep. We made time to go see them, sit down, yep. film a, a conversation together, yep. uh getting FaceTime with them. And so yep. we've invested a lot of money into that relationship and it's good now we can we can call them up at any time and be like hey we want to do something and we can do a deal we don't have to fight to get in because the investment that we've already made well there's a potential phone call this week with ed right mm-hmm. that that we may that we may set up right like we would not have had that phone call had we not been investing into that networking group mm-hmm. he wouldn't even know who the hell we are right right and so I, I would put a hit list down, not a hit list of people you're going to kill, but a hit list of people that you want to surround yourself <laughs> with and then find out where their events are, you know, when they throw events, if they throw events, if they have coaching or mentoring programs. Mm-hmm. You have to invest into these people because their time is so valuable. You you cannot get in and play or be around them if you aren't spending money. That's just the truth. Yeah. And I'll be even more truthful <laughs> That will be us one day. Yeah, you know we're gonna throw our own events, and people will want to be close and get with inside of our ecosystem. We have a pretty deep network based upon the money that we've spent mm-hmm. and the people that we've surrounded our. Like it's gonna be very rare that somebody would send us a message saying, "Hey, do you know a guy that does payment processing or merchant account?" Yeah, we do. 
Do you know a guy who can do email marketing? Yeah, we do. Mm -hmm. Do you know a guy who can build websites? Yeah, we do. Do you know a guy that that does clothing, you know, brand? Yeah, we do. <laughs> you know, like we know a lot of people and we only know those Good people. Good ass people that their stuff works too because we exactly. have invested into shit. shit. To that find turned out, out they were just work. con artists, yeah. you know, and so we, exactly. we have a pretty awesome vetted network that we've yeah. personally done business with, and we wouldn't recommend anyone that we haven't done business with that we know that they do good shit. Yeah. You know, so it's true, man. It's crazy, too. Some of the guys that we talked to at our events that uh, would already said, like, oh, dude, if you guys ever do an event, because I can tell you're headed there, I'd love to come and speak, and I'd love to teach them how to do X, Y, and Z, yeah. right, which is very valuable information, mm -hmm. and some of those people we would definitely bring, people in economics, people in business brokering, people in um, web development, people web, in Business marketing. funding, p p credit repair, mm -hmm. I mean, what else? The list goes on and on. Accounting, mm -hmm. like I said, the merger, like, Whatever it is that you guys are struggling with, I guarantee we know somebody who's in that industry that's probably either killing it uh, or could help you kill it, right? Yeah. Whether it's just somebody that you want to run something by, or it, it doesn't matter what it is. But guys, the, the, the whole point is if, if you are lacking self-confidence, find a guru, find somebody, again, that focuses on mental toughness and go to their events, mm -hmm. buy their books, buy their courses, right? And to be quite honest with you, you may get taken once or twice on some bunk ass courses. Mm -hmm. We've done it. Yep. We've invested money into, you know, uh, different things. We flew to Canada that one time to meet that group and mm -hmm. that didn't work out in our favor. They didn't. You know, we lost, you know, quarter million dollars or whatever. It is what it is. Mm -hmm. But it's just part of the process. Well, the other thing I like too, um, and we can wrap it up after this, but um, I, I really like a lot of these programs because it really kind of helps hold you accountable. Dude. Yeah. Like everybody feels insecure and, mm -hmm. and scared and all that shit when they're trying to put themselves out there. And dude, if you're in a part of a, a good networking group, you're a part of a good mentoring group, like they will help hold you accountable and give you that push to just do it. Like allow yourself to go suck a little bit, you know? Mm. So uh, I, I really like that, dude, because, you know, I don't know, dude. It's it, it was really hard for a lot of time. It was really hard to step on stage the first time. Mm. But it's nice to just have that group behind you like, dude, just do it. And yeah. they, they remind you it's okay yeah. to go suck. Yeah. It's okay to, you know, put yeah. yourself out there and fail. It's all right. Everybody the, does it. The, the the funny thing is, is like somebody could listen to exactly what we say like over a podcast and hear it. It's another thing to have somebody that you look up to or that coaches you say it to your face yeah. in person. Mm -hmm. You know, the power of going to those events, it's a different feeling. The accountability is like literally one of the best things, you know, like following through. Dude, you said you were going to get on stage and do that, man. Just do it. You know, come on. They, they give you that push. Or they, they, they follow up with you. Hey, did you ever do that thing that you were talking about at that last time that we met at the last networking event? Mm -hmm. She's like, oh, shit. No, I haven't no. quite finished yeah. that yet. You know? Yeah, well, you need to, you know, come on, man. You know, or whatever it is, right? Yeah. Like, there we is. We all need that. There is. Th th I think that's part of, it's not part. It's a large part of the power of groups is the power of having, you know, 10 people, 20 people, or 100 people all on the exact same path in life. And that path is leveling up. Mm-hmm knowing that they could do more, but maybe feeling lost in how to be able to do more. What can I implement? What do I need to change? And the power of being open-minded is limitless. Yeah, just being willing. Is being limitless. Open. Um, yeah, dude. I, I think a lot of people are, oh, those raw, raw group. Like, dude, I used to look at, like, the Tony Robbins, and they're jumping up and down and getting just all like, crazy. Oh, hey, sheep. Yeah, exactly. No, they just bought into something that makes that they want to be, that makes them want to be better. What, you can choose what you're buying yeah. into. Yeah. Are you buying into being negative yeah. and being complacent? Making excuses. Or are you buying into, you know, like something greater, even if it does look foolish, if you really don't give a shit? Like. So the, the challenge that we have for you guys is whatever area that you feel like you're lacking, if it's financially, then invest into ads. If your company's not growing as rapidly as you'd like, figure out a way to, you know, put another tool in your tool belt, so to speak, and and try to you know, go down a path that you maybe have, you, you have to try something you yeah. haven't tried before so that you can get a different <laughs> result, that whole, you know, cliche shit. Um, but it's the truth, yeah. right? And so 
If that's where you're lacking, run ads. Pay, pay to suck. If you're lacking in your relationship, spend time and money there. Okay. If, if, if you're lacking in confidence, get around networking groups where everybody's trying to level up and trying to figure themselves mm -hmm. out. Right. That's, that's the truth. If you're tired of tolerating where you're at, we hire an accountability coach. We've done, we've done all of this, dude. We've <laughs> yeah. done all of it. Yeah. And, and we the, still are, dude. And, I mean, and we're we, nowhere near where we, we still are. Be. So, and we want to keep bringing value to, you know, the, the platform that we're building. And so we're yeah. going to continue investing into it. And that's really, this kind of turned into like, get a coach, get a accountability and all, you know, get into it's networking groups. But really what the whole thing was is it all takes money. So just get that in your head right now that did, you got to find areas where you can cut that aren't serving you and start tapping into putting it where it is going to serve you. I mean, that's really what the whole episode was about. Pay to play. Anytime that, any, <laughs> ever since that we've paid to play, yeah, we've leveled up. Yeah. Good shit is so we continue to grow as individuals. We, our businesses continue to grow, um, and I don't think we can beat that over their head anymore in this episode. I think we, dude, run it back. You Austin, guys have got to get it, right? Austin, on this episode, like <laughs> at the end, just uh, have it restart again, <laughs> so that just you can, yeah, now. so that it can be listened to again. And 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 the only reason why I'm saying that, guys, it, it sounds like a simple concept, but. People They're, still don't do it. I can pull up a DM right now of, of a kid that just DM'd that said he listened to that Instagram one that I did about boosting ads and getting followers and how it's working for him. Yeah. He just tried it and now it's working and he's growing his following. I've had several people reach out after that episode, but I would bet the majority of people that have listened to that episode was like, oh, that's cool information. Cool. What's the next episode? Yeah. They're just absorbing the content. They're not doing anything with it. This yeah. content is meant Everything for, takes to, to try to push you guys to that next level, push you guys to take action, push you guys to do something that you wouldn't have normally done had somebody not told you to do it. Yeah. Because the reality is, is when we started joining groups, they said there's power moves, right? That's what mm -hmm. they talk about, power moves. Right. What are some of the power moves? Stepping on stage, writing a book, starting a podcast, well, we have a podcast. Okay, Kel, you've stepped on several stages now. You're writing a book, aren't you? And even when I suck, dude, I get I get people coming to me after the event. That, it opens doors. And it opens doors. They're like, doors. dude, I got this guy I want to free you to, or I want to hire you guys as my accountant. And, the real you know? question is, is if we hadn't been doing these groups and we hadn't paid to play, mm -hmm. do you think that you would have a book in process right I now? I did hire a person to help me with my book, and it is hard at times, and I get mental blocks, and she pushes me to get to the next step. And that's literally what I pay. But if for. we never went into any of these groups, maybe you wouldn't even start it. Guarantee you did. We'd probably just still be now, fine. Now I realize I'm like, dude, I actually have a lot based on my stories and the things I've overcome yeah. and the things that have worked and haven't worked from failure and success. Like I know that my book will help a lot of people. And so that's what's inspired me to finish it. But I still need a coach to help push me through those mental blocks. And those insecure moments, like, dude, there's a few stories I've written in my book that yeah. I'm like, this just sounds stupid, dude. I and don't then, know about yeah. this. She's like, no, that's interesting. And I would read this book and you need to finish it. And I, dude, that meant a lot to me because it helped me finish that chapter, you know? And so, that's so we go into a group that talks about power moves. So then we start following what power moves are. Mm -hmm. Then you, again, pay to play mm -hmm. to write a book and hire somebody to help you hold you accountable to get through the book and get yeah. the rough draft yeah, I mean, done and all that. Yeah, there's strategy I'm learning from but, it, but a lot of it's the accountability. But you're paying for that. Exactly. You're paying to play. Dude, everything. You talked about being on stage. Paid to be on stage. Yeah. Okay? It, it all is the exact same thing. It all funnels yeah. back to being willing to spend money. Not enough of you guys are willing to take the risk of spending money. Mm -hmm. And again, start just minimize it 250 500 or a thousand bucks a month whatever it is just do something to start move in that direction we're just calling you out right now yeah. because you flat out say my business my business my business well you're the problem with your business mm -hmm. your business isn't your business is ran by you it doesn't just run itself so the business isn't the problem you're the problem the way you think is the problem yeah the way that you currently are is the pro so change so do us a favor, okay? And you don't even have to go make some crazy budget, okay? Take literally five minutes, figure out some shit you can cut out of your life that isn't serving you, 
take some money, invest it into some ads or whatever, and then DM us the results that you get mm. three months from now. Yeah. Because I can promise you, if you will just find a way yep. to get the capital, to run some ads, even if they suck at first, if you keep going for just a few months, mm -hmm. you will DM us that, damn, dude, that actually really worked. I got leads. I got clients. Mm -hmm. My clients are turning into more clients. That's how it works. And if you don't know how to create an ad or whatever it is, that's not an excuse. There's this weird, uh, there's this place on the interweb called Google. Um, and you can go there and you can type in like YouTube. And then this place comes up that has videos. And then in YouTube, you can put how to run an ad. Yeah. Isn't that weird? And then there's information that will walk Dude, you through. Dude, a lot of the courses you do buy, there's actually just as good videos on YouTube on for YouTube. free. You like, can literally put in search terms like creating Facebook ads. Guaranteed there's going to be million. Dude, there's probably five minute, 10 minute, 15, 20. Again, investing time and money into yeah. what you ultimately want to grow. So go there and watch a couple of videos and then go, go to All your the business directions. Facebook page and click this, <laughs> click that, and put a card on file and, you know, run 50 bucks and cross your fingers and... You know, see what happens. And it right? will just turn into more and more stuff, man. As you get better at one thing, you'll learn a new thing and then yep. a new thing. And before you know it, you'll be an expert. You'll adjust, 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 evolve, 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 and win. Yeah. That's just the reality of it. So, all right, guys, should we wrap it up with yep, the we're review? Wrap, we're going to wrap it Good, up with the review. Um, so, this is actually somebody that we know, and um, I, I know who it is based upon their initials. Um, but, you know, we, we appreciate the review. Um, a lot of the reviews have, are just really hitting home with us. So, again, if uh, if we're bringing you value, please just do us, you know, a solid and just leave a review. Let us know how it's affecting you and, um, you know, whether it's just mentally, whether your business is growing because of it. Um, just, just let us know how we're making an impact and what are the parts that you like about the podcast. And if you guys took uh, in this episode today, like we we're being a little bit too harsh, it's just cause we love y'all. We appreciate the support. We appreciate yeah. everything everybody's doing, but we just, we're just calling out, you know, Your the shit that yeah. we keep hearing in the DMS and it's not to make you feel stupid. Dude, we just do. We love everybody and we want everybody to win. So just don't expect you guys without apply investing. some of this stuff. That's part, you know, and, and if you feel like we're too harsh, then go back and re-listen to, um, the sugar coating episode, <laughs> exactly, uh, <clears throat> because we'll tell you how it is, whether you like it or not. It's just what will ultimately benefit you. But um, so this one is uh, the subject just says great, great, great five star review. I've known Trevor and Kale for years. And they've always been great people, fun and incredible humans. I've seen them change their mindset. I've seen them transform physically. I've seen their businesses thrive in the culture they perpetuate perpetuate in their office. They're living and practicing these principles. I've seen how they've transformed their life and their businesses. Thanks for sharing your story, guys. And that's from uh, one of our buddies, Dustin Van Gilder. Yeah. Um, dude, we appreciate you, you know, one, listening. Yeah, that's and, awesome. And, and, and writing a review mm -hmm. because I'll be honest with you guys, as you guys start running ads and doing this, that, the other, if people that you know see it, initially it's going to look stupid. Yeah. They're going to say, who the fuck does this guy think he is or who do they think? You know, and again, we probably had that, uh, you know, from 90% of people um, wondering what we're trying to accomplish when we first started running these yeah. real business. What are these clowns ads? up to? I've literally yeah. heard that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, um, you know, the clowns have the last <laughs> laugh, I guess, you know, so um, <laughs> these clowns. Uh, but again, dude, Dustin, Dustin's a, an amazing human being. He's a good man. Uh, he runs a successful construction company here in the town that we live. That's what we say. We know him for years. Yeah. Same at the gym. We've yeah. gone out and played, you know, sports, yeah, turkey golf, balls, golf, yeah. all kinds of stuff, yeah. man. And he's a good human. It's cool um, to see a guy at his level, you know, acknowledge you know, what we're doing. Yeah. yeah. So we appreciate that. But the only reason why I brought up the hater shit is because this episode we're talking about running ads, mm -hmm. and there's going to be a lot of people hating you just on their ads it. and this, that, the other. That, that's just part of the process. But the reality is, is are you more concerned about what somebody else says about you or what your bank account says about you? Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's really what it comes down to. So Dustin, we appreciate the review guys. If we brought you value today, make sure that you drop a review, share, uh, you know, what we're doing with a friend or a family member. Um, 
anybody that you care about. I guess if you don't care about them, don't don't share the information, you know. Uh, <laughs> but once you get to the point of where you're successful enough, you actually really just want to see everybody win. Yeah. And that's kind of really where we're at is we just want to see people win. We've been through a lot of struggle and, you know, we don't really wish that upon anybody, but it's just part of the process and we yeah. want to see people get through it. I've um, learned to like it though. Stay hungry. Yeah, stay Tap hungry. Tap in your wallet. Tap into the wallet, spend Bell the money. <laughs> uh, be willing to suck and, and uh, one day you'll be great. So... Appreciate you guys. Have a good one. Take care.